2 Timothy 3.12 says, Yea, and all that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Not might suffer persecution, not maybe will suffer persecution. It says shall suffer persecution. I came onto the scene in the uh, street preaching community in uh, late 2010, early 2011. And I tell you what, I've seen a lot. I've seen, of course, the, the, all the drinks being thrown on you, uh, everything you could think of uh, being thrown on you from feces uh, to rocks to, to bottles, uh, everything you could think of. Knives pulled out, guy tried to cut me, um, a crucifix, tried to get stabbed in my neck, was ran across my neck, uh, you know, people with guns pushed out into the street, uh, of course, punched, kicked, uh, about everything that could happen. I've, I've seen about everything, especially down in some of these big preachers like, like Mardi Gras. But here recently, it really hit home. Just on Saturday, uh, my beloved uh, brother, my best friend, um, our dear pastor of Antioch Fellowship of the Elect, uh, a brother uh, punched him right in the face, right in the cheek uh, with brass knuckles on. And uh, by the grace of God, uh, Jacob wasn't phased. It was a solid connection. The guy was probably trained in martial arts or something. But uh, by the grace of God, uh, it did not hurt Jacob. And uh, the next day, you know, obviously he's bruised up and, and swelled up and had trouble um, chewing. We, of course, prayed for him. And uh, by the end of service on Sunday, he was able to eat lunch. And then I just got off the phone with Pastor Jacob. And... Um, no pain at all. The Lord actually healed him. And so praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor Jacob was, was healed. His jaw was healed. He said, actually, the first time we prayed for him uh, that night that it happened, he felt a pop. And so we thought it might have been broken. But um, anyways, so that just happened. As you saw a video a couple days ago, some woman came up, said, I'm going to kill you. What you didn't see in that video is we had multiple other people uh, come up to us. And then at the end of that preach, we had a, a little small little gang of uh, LGBTQ and transgenders that were like following us down the road. And thank God some other people came out and, and um, the Lord sent these older men, these couple older men, and they actually um, intercepted them so we could like get to our vehicles. And uh, so that was up the Lord for sure. But anyways, the Lord has our, our back. We, we can't be worried about this. We are going to suffer persecution. The Bible says, marvel not, brethren, um, if the world hates you. Uh, we know that the world's going to hate us. We know that we're going to suffer uh, for righteousness sake. We're blessed if we suffer for righteousness sake. So praise the Lord. What happened here recently, though, was uh, Brother Robin. Uh, Brother Robin, um, a dear brother down in Florida, uh, Robin Malin and his, his dear wife, uh, Areej, I believe it was just Robin out by himself on Saturday night, the same night this happened to Pastor Jacob. And um, Saturday night, he was attacked by this woman. And this woman uh, in the St. Patty's outfit, she destroyed some of his equipment. Then later that night, he got attacked again and ended up getting the white part of his eye, like a cornea, uh, like a, like a, like a, um, some type of tear or, 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 a, or a large abrasion on his eye and he's having trouble seeing lots of pain and uh, while he was dealing with the cops i believe some of his signs banners some poles got stolen so this brother's uh had a lot of trouble i'm going to put um some of that video right here right now that this is the problem this is the problem every, every all these women today want to teach they've got a spirit of feminism and you deny the scriptures you deny the scriptures yes it does yes it does you're a woman you're a woman. Women cannot be pastors. Look, don't, don't touch my stuff. Hey, 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 hey! You're wicked. You're wicked. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Keep your hands to yourself. The truth is the truth. You are Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Hey, get out of here. You need, to, you need to get out of here. Are you, gonna you need to get out of here. You, gonna touch you need to get away from me. You need to get away. Get away. You're a wicked devil. You're going to burn in hell. You're a wicked woman.
Okay, this is a Christian. This is you're the Christian, huh? You're the Christian. You're the one telling people that Jesus is not their leader. You put in Hey, give me my stuff. Stop it. Yeah, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. You're the one attacking me and pulling all my stuff. You need to calm down, ma'am. You need to stop assaulting me and taking my stuff. I'm not touching you. Let go, ma'am. Okay, I got this woman assaulting me here. I have not touched you. Grab my stuff. She tried to knock over my equipment. I have not touched you. I'm getting you on camera, ma'am. You're gonna go to jail. You're getting you're gonna go to jail. No, I didn't. You fell. You fell. Just still out here downtown. Just got done with the police a little while ago. Um after guy attacked me and grabbed my cart and a pole went into my eye and um, sent the ambulance and checked it out said that there's like damage on the white of my eye I'd have to I'd have to go to the hospital so kind of opted to drive myself and um, yeah just really wicked how uh, how the police are sometimes they don't give any sort of follow through oh hey he got arrested or this or that I turn around and they're gone and um, while I'm in the the ambulance people stole more, more of my stuff went in the cart that I had with my banners and my poles and just stole it even though I asked the the cops multiple times can I go get this stuff it's just sitting out there from when I got attacked someone's gonna steal it no you need to stay right here it's gonna be fine then they just stare at me blankly when I'm like, oh, they stole it. So it ends up being a situation of he said, she said, don't even know if the guy got arrested. Call the dispatch. They get very rude with me and tell me I'm holding up the line and hang up on me and say, oh, a cop will get back to you. So I can't see out of one eye. The cops don't give me a business card. They don't follow through with me and they just evaporate say oh they went they had another call four cop cars that drove by me right now just cruising around and uh can't drive myself to the hospital currently because my eye is on fire um don't know if you can i don't know if it shows up on here but really hurts to look but um I want to read some scripture to you. 1 Peter 4, 12 through 14. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he's glorified. Amen? So God's getting glorified by these things that are happening to us. And uh, I know it's not fun when we get persecuted, but I tell you what, God is getting the glory through these testimonies. God's getting the glory through these witnessing. God's getting the glory. And uh, so what a blessing it is to know these brothers. What a blessing it is uh, that these brothers are, are laying down their life for the gospel's sake. And uh, they're not afraid. The fear of man brings a snare, but he who puts his trust in the Lord is safe. Is safe. And so I wanted to come on here and ask you today, if you're able, uh, I'm going to put uh, Brother Robin's uh, PayPal on this video. And I'm also going to put his PayPal in the description. I'm asking you if you would PayPal him uh, some offerings, some love offerings. Um, I know the speaker he had was like, uh, one of those uh, E verses, I believe, an E verse eight. I think they're like seven hundred and fifty bucks, eight hundred bucks to replace. Plus, he's got the stands, cords that were messed up, the mic was messed up. Um, you know, he's got banners, signs that were messed up. Not not including um, the bill to go to the doctor. He's got to go see a specialist, I believe. I believe he's seeing a specialist today, uh, ophthalmologist. So uh, he's got all these medical bills. Um, you know, let's, let's help this brother out. I know our church is going to help him out 
And, um, you know, I'm asking you brothers and sisters out there watching this video, um, PayPal brother Robin Malin. Uh, PayPal this brother. Uh, he's a faithful brother. He's out uh, sharing the gospel. If you don't have PayPal, um, get send me a message some other way. We can uh, You can mail it in or you can send it to me cash app and then I'll pay PayPal him. But let's help this brother out. Let's show some support uh, to this brother. And most of all, let's pray for him. Uh, let's pray for Brother Robin's eye for complete healing in the name of Jesus. So if you can't help on PayPal, that's fine, but at least pray. Let's set aside some time and pray for complete healing for Brother Robin, that there would be complete healing to his uh, to the, the cornea, complete healing to his eye, uh, Lord, that the Lord would provide the equipment, and, uh, and that this would be a miracle, and it would be a miracle testimony. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. And uh, God bless you all and stay close to Jesus and uh, stay in that Bible, stay in prayer. Let's keep the Lord Jesus the priority and let's not look back. He that has his hand to the plow and looking back is not fit for the kingdom of God. So let's keep on uh, going straight ahead with the Lord, not getting distracted by all these things in the world. And uh, let's finish the race strong in Jesus name. God bless you all.